Welcome. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Exine, will you do me a favor, please? Sure. Handle the introductory uh, the situation. Okay. Who is this man? This is Billy Zoom. Billy, it's a pleasure to welcome you here. Who is the fellow on the drums? DJ Bonebreak. Nice to see you, sir. Welcome. Would you introduce the last one? This is John Doe. John Doe. Thank you, John. Nice to have you here. I better stay over here because when I leave, if I wrap that microphone around your legs, you and I leave together. That's all right. The man who uh, I talked to, who fir well, not first brought you to my attention, because everyone in the world was talking about you, uh, said he had the feeling that when he walked into a club and saw you, it was sort of like watching the Beatles at the old Cavern Club. Now, that's before the time of a lot of people here. How do you explain your success? Why do the critics like you? I like what everyone said before when you were introducing us. Yeah. No, um... Now the, the last lady who was about to do the preamble of the Constitution of the United States over there was going to give you a complete history. You right. paid a lot of dues. Yeah, we've been around a while. How does it feel when all of a sudden your records now are being played on more and more radio stations? There's a hot radio station in L.A., KROQ, that plays a lot of the new music. Now, radio programming people all over the country are looking to this kind of music. Does that make you happy, finally? Yeah. Well, it's about time. And, uh, there's... <laughs> It's been a hard fight. Yeah, well, it's not just us. There's a lot of bands in America that should be on the radio that aren't. But it's starting to change, and K-Rock's a good station. Well, this is, this is not meant to be a commercial for them because they're all good and all of that stuff. We'll, we'll, get, we'll give equal time to everybody. But the main thing is you're blazing the way. Now, there are other artists who are being influenced by this music. Does that bug you a little bit or no? Uh, I, yeah, but I'm not going to talk about it. All right, no, no because... <laughs> All, the upside of that is what took so long to get people to give respectable attention to is probably the most important new kind of music there is. Tell me about the, the, uh, the poetry place in Venice. What's it called? Beyond Baroque. What, is, what goes on there? Uh, it's just a place where you go and read your work and people criticize it and tell you what they think about it and get to be a better writer. Is this uh, the modern day equivalent of, uh, I don't know, writing societies and the old groups of authors getting together? Well, you like to think that, yeah. Okay. You don't give it that much significance? No. What's going to happen in the next year to X? Probably be on the road a whole lot. You look forward to that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you done it before? Yeah, once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll talk a little bit after you return yeah, from a three. A present from the band. A present from the band. Sure. Holy mackerel, that's 100 years old. Where'd you find it? <sighs> it's not 100 years old, no. It's about 20. I like Dick Clark. This is, oh. Thank you. you re, no, I don't know whether you said, did you see that, Jay? This thing was made in the 1950s, if you can believe that. There, uh, how about that? Thank you. We're, no, I can't wear it.